Hey everybody, so uh, we're going to look at some line overrides and how you can fix your your section in case you've uh, uh, made some lines invisible and how you can quickly figure out which ones are, are invisible. Um, I had a question about, uh, you know, if you're not familiar with it, it's, it may be confusing, but um, for the most part, you know, it is simple to, to fix the issue. But I had a question on invisible lines and, and trying, you know, how to find them and then how to get them back to the original line type that uh, that element had. So right now we have a section one, call out one. Um, and you can see that over here in the project browser. Uh, so I've, I'm, I've activated the view, so I'm inside the view, and then there's this little wall tag uh, that I'll show you later um, uh, why, why I have that there. And so let's go ahead and just make a line invisible. Uh, so what we'll do is go up to the Modify tab, and then this little button right here is the Line Work button. We can click on that, and then we can uh, click this drop down. We can go into Invisible Lines. And uh, this works with uh, model geometry. And uh, what we can do is uh, go in here and we can um, um, click on this, this wall. Um, and if you can't, or if you have a lot of elements there, what you can do is tab into it and then, um, and then click on that element. So I'm gonna click on this wall and then you'll see that it disappears. So essentially, you know, we had a detail kind of like this. And um, and the element was gone, and they couldn't figure out a way to uh, get it back. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you uh, two ways to fix this really quickly so you don't have to worry about it. Um, so the first one is, is if you ha come over here to your project browser, find that section or call out. Um, Go down there and duplicate it, and then duplicate with detailing. Detailing will bring over um, uh, this tag, for instance. So you can see I've duplicated that with detailing. I have the tag, and then I also um, have the uh, overrides removed. So now I see the wall edge again. Um, and what you can do after that is delete the original one, um, and then, and then rename this and then place it on the sheet if you had it on a sheet. Uh, the other way to do this, and um, it all depends really, I mean if you have a ton of things going on and you want to, uh, you know, a ton of overrides on those modeled elements in a section like this, uh, and you just want to simply, you know, it's quicker for you to just duplicate and, you know, with the details, then, um, you know, go ahead and do that. That's a really fast way to do it. But if, you know, you have this placed on a sheet and you simply want to uh, fix the lines, there's not very many, you know, in this example, it's just one. What you need to do is go back to your Modify tab. Or if it's the first time you see this and you need to fix it, somebody else did it, you know, go to your Modify tab. Go to Line Work. Click on that. And then what you'll do is you'll find, um, unless you want a different line type, you can choose one of those, you know, whatever you have within your company. Um, but if you want it back to the element that it, uh, the line type that element represents, you'll just jump over to by category, which is going to put it back to the original line type it had um, or that element has. So if we click the line, you can see um, that it brings it back. Um, as if we, you know, never made it invisible. If I do Control Z and real quick, just talk about this. So if you, you know, look at this, you can, you, you may think there's no lines hidden. It, you know, it looks normal until you hover over the elements, and then you can see really quickly that uh, there is a line over there. So that that's a sign that hey, there's something missing. Another thing that you can do, and this is kind of um, a combination of them. Say you have this placed on a sheet already. Um, so you have this view placed on a sheet, and uh, you want to uh, you know figure out what's going on because there's a lot of stuff hidden. You don't know what's hidden. You don't want to go you know from item to item. You can come down here and just quickly duplicate the view. So if we duplicate this, 
uh, we can see what's going on. So the tags didn't come with this one because the idea is that we're going to use this to try to figure out or any of the detail information. So like in there, um, in this uh, section, there is some detail lines. Uh, so none of that information came over. But essentially, all the model lines that you can override uh, with the line work uh, uh, tool. So any, you know, where, because you can only override uh, modeled elements with this invisible lines. So what you can do is open up another section, just, you know, copy it, and then just do a side-by-side -side or just kind of go back and forth between the views to see what's changed. So we can see here, okay, there is a wall here. I can quickly go back. Um, I can fix that and then just change, you know, I can click this drop down, change it to something else if I wanted to, or if I want to back to category. Um, so that's it. So I just wanted to show you that because I, I got a couple questions at work. Um, you know, somebody was having troubles trying to figure out what, what was hidden, you know, how to actually uh, uh, change it back. So it's really easy to do. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Hopefully it helped, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.